Welcome to I Review You Read. In this video, I'll be showing you three ways on how to make clear Polaroids with packing tape. These clear Polaroids are also known as specimen cards, for they are more commonly used to seal pressed dried flowers in depth. My first attempt of making the clear Polaroids was actually featured on my journal Instagram account and on Jobs Journal's YouTube account as part of his community creators. Task that inspired me to create this tutorial. In today's craft, I'll be showing you specimen cards without dried flowers, clear polaroids with lace and even wax seal. With that, grab your clear packing tape and let's start making some clear polaroids. We're starting with the long specimen card with wax seal. This card is the perfect size if you're using it for a bookmark or if you are looking for an elongated structure to fit your longer dried flowers. I start off by cutting an inner rectangle on the craft paper. Aside from the bottom, each side is 2cm wide while the bottom is 3cm long. I used a double-sided craft paper for this but I would recommend you to use something sturdier like a cardboard or the back of a sticky pack. Get yourself a piece of wax paper and put it underneath the craft paper. This is to ensure the packing tape would not get stuck on the table when using. Next, let your creativity flow. One of the problems I face when using packing tapes is the static from the tape sucking the paper and the dried flowers when I hover it over them. My suggestion is to cut a piece out and let it rest on the side before using. Or you can just quickly press it down regardless of the consequences. If things still move while placing the tape, Flip to the back of it and use a plier to adjust the item as much as you can to the best of your abilities. Sometimes it takes removing other items before you are able to get the look you want. But always remember to flip it back to the wax paper and press the tape down on it so that you can remove the air bubbles. When you're done, Paste the other side and press down the remaining air bubbles. I taped up the side of the papers so that it has a consistent tape feeling throughout. It's difficult for the wax seal to stay. Plus, I would suggest that you leave an untouched area on the paper so that the wax seal would stay better. Here, I use two little wax seal. I plucked it out and put more wax pellets so that I would have a bigger seal and it doesn't look so sad. You can see the bigger seal at the introduction and at the end of this video. With that, that's the long specimen cut with a wax seal. The next card that we are going to make is a 2D globe clear Polaroid card. It's a smaller and shorter card in the shape of a globe. It's stagnant shaker. For this globe card, we are going to prepare a few things beforehand. Firstly, I cut out the circle at the back of an old washi packaging to make the window. I am going to add these shiny trinkets in the window too. Next, I am using an old book page. I take a pressed flower and trace the outlines of the flower on the page. I cut it out after to make a book page flower. Another element that I am adding in the window is a translucent circle. Using a single hole punch, I punched out the circles that have the grey lines to add in the globe card. I find that using the pliers to arrange the elements is an easier way than using your fingers. After everything is done, 
I paste a clear packing tape on it. I found two red translucent stickers and decided to add them in the globe card design. I seal it up with clear packing tape on the other side and we are done. Presenting our 2D clear Polaroid globe card. Lastly, we have the no dried flowers window card featuring lace. This is a great Polaroid to send in the mail for you won't get in trouble for putting dried flowers in your envelope. I started off with an old pamphlet and cut it into a small rectangle. Then I cut a small rectangle out of that small rectangle. As the pamphlet had some words at the back, I pasted some scrap paper at the back to cover them. I also punched out a sakura flower from the inner rectangle using this puncher I got from Daiso. I punched out another sakura flower from another scrap paper so that I can paste the two sides together. I flipped the card over onto the other side and plan on how I want to decorate it. It starts with the lace on the top so that it looks like a window and a flower bed of those punched out sakura flowers at the bottom. Since I had my clear Polaroid window pre-planned and prepared, I added a clear tape to the back of it and start putting it together. I added the translucent circle from the previous craft here and put in the double-sided sakura. I also added a short coat I found from the old book from the previous craft and I pasted some masking tape on the other side to cover the words on the other side. I wrote a simple coat on the masking tape. Before I add in the decorations on the borders, I sealed both windows up with clear tape first. Remember to flatten out the air bubbles. One thing I've learned from Job's clear Polaroid creation video is to never forget the back. I then added in a stamp flower Two more sakura punched out papers because clearly that is the theme for this right now. And some words at the top. I flipped the card over onto the other side and glued the lace and the flower bed down. After all the glue dries, we are done! These are the three ways that you can create clear polaroids with clear packing tape. I hope you enjoy this video and do remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!